Can you hear it? Can you feel it? The global reset and the great wealth transfer are happening right now. And here's something that's really interesting about that. Even though we're talking about trillions of dollars in the transfer of wealth, we're talking about the global step down of many people. The global step down, the global reset is gonna to touch many, many people. But the wealth transfer, a lot of people gonna miss that. Essentially, as I've been sitting down and I've been coming up and I've been thinking, um, last year for me, and I'm being really careful who I tell this to in my personal life was the best year I've ever had financially, which for many people was the worst year ever. Why was last year a good year for me? Because I was positioned. And here's the reason that so many people are going to get missed by this great wealth transfer. They're not in position to receive any money. These are the people out here who have a job. These are the people out here who are hustling. When I was in the storage auction business many, many years ago, I noticed that a lot of the folks who had been doing storage auctions 10, 15, 20 years, they didn't have great wealth. There was a few who did, but the majority of them were not even close to wealthy. They were doing good. They would hit a good unit here and there, but the storage auction business was a hustle. And I look at that and if I hadn't got sick and my partner had developed cancer, I'd probably still be doing that because I was in a position where I didn't know what I didn't know. And I feel that this is a position that many, many people are in. They don't know what they don't know. So they keep doing what they're doing. And the vast majorities of Americans are going to be left out of the wealth transfer completely. It's not going to touch the families. It's not going to touch the fathers, the mothers, the sons, the daughters. They're going to be completely left out. And this is one of the main reasons they're going to be left out. The social economic class that you're born in is usually the social economic class that you will die in. And one of the things that so many people don't understand, like with my situation, for me to start off where I did and to end up here is like a great American story. But a lot of people don't look at that because I'm a YouTuber, I sell online courses. It's like, he just out here for that money grab, you know? And people don't really appreciate the financial arc that I made because doing what I did to go from one social economic level to skip, you know, I was born poor and I skipped over. I went from poor to lower middle class and I went from lower middle class to middle middle class. And then I went up from middle middle class to upper middle class. Then I went from upper middle class to rich. And the next hat trick for me is to go from rich to wealthy. And that is, I jumped over levels and levels and levels. And what I'm going to do, because you know, I have a greater understanding of wealth and wealth development, but more importantly, I have a greater understanding of how to keep and maintain wealth, which is the key because we have many people every year we have uh, about 200 people who leave college and go to the NFL and become instantly rich. Some of these people become multimillionaires with the signing of a contract. And there are opportunities for you to become rich, but that's just the first part of the game. And the, the real part of the game is to become rich, then to become wealthy and to stay wealthy. And one of the things that this great global reset, and let's talk about that for a minute. The global reset is happening right now. You're going to have people who are homeowners who are going to be renters. You're going to have people who have homes who are going to be homeless. You're going to see a transition of people stepping down. This is the global reset It's happening all over the globe. And one of the things that is happening is people are feeling the pain. People are really feeling it and it's starting to descend upon people because now we're in the the year two of the pandemic 
And one of the things is that most people don't understand how wealth is generated. And wealth is not generated by naming yourself the CEO of some non-functioning, non-producing company. Now, that's not how wealth is developed. And the wealth is developed by what you create. And this is why I am really focused on my business. Um, I'm getting ready to create a lot more stuff and I'm setting my business up today for the next 10 years. And I understand how wealth is created. When you come up with a product or service and you put it into the marketplace and the marketplace says, hey, I like that. Here's some money for that product or service. That is an exchange of wealth. And if you are having a job, the wealth transfer is gonna completely miss you. I saw this last year with the pandemic. From August to December, I've had some of the best months I've ever seen in my life. And it was because I was in a position to activate the wealth transfer. And right now, <clears throat> You got people out here doing all kinds of dastardly schemes to get money. And this is one of the reasons I have left the hustling community. I've already seen a few comments where people are disappointed. And I'm going to say this. You guys never really supported me. All of the free content, the free books, the free courses. A lot of you just signed up and never actually took advantage of that. And you say you miss the hustling content because I'm already seeing that. But when it was there, it was free. My question to you is why didn't you take full fledged advantage of it? I'm going to ask that question in a minute. And one of the things that right now is really, really big on YouTube and Facebook is the hustling space, how to make money very, very fast. 90 something percent of the people who are in the hustling space are going to miss the wealth transfer. This is one of the things that I learned and we will talk about the storage auction business. I was hustling. I made fast money. I was able to do multiple things. I was selling on eBay. I was selling on Amazon. I was able to generate money very quickly. And during the heyday, we got up to 80, $90,000 months but this was with a lot of overhead, warehouse space, truck leases, employees, cost of goods. So it sounds good, but typically after we paid expenses, we netted out at 40 to 50,000 and that was split between two people. And then that was when I was in the hustle mentality, the hustle space, and I was making good money, but I wasn't getting wealthy. Then I come to YouTube and I write a book and I have the marketing muscle of YouTube behind me and the internet, which are like employees. This YouTube channel is like an employee that works seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a week, a year. And what's funny, it's an employee that pays me. My YouTube channels made almost $60,000 last year in YouTube revenue and close to $3 million in sales. And <clears throat> essentially it's a system and a process in a way that makes me money that makes me income. <clears throat> like when I was sick, I was sick for the last two weeks money still came in because there's a system and a process in place. So when I begin to understand how wealth is created, I understand that. <clears throat> now the next hat trick is to become permanently wealthy, which is my plan in four years with buying of a large apartment complex. And if you're not in that mindset of buying assets, that appreciate and throw off cash, the wealth transfer is gonna miss you. Because you have to be at the apex of the wealth transfer for the wealth transfer to benefit you. You must be in the marketplace. You must be out here doing something, building something. 
And this is one of the reasons that I'm getting ready to redirect my energy, change up what I'm doing, and I'm gonna talk about new topics and new things such as this video. Because this video is gonna help somebody who is really, really close. They've got maybe a small business, maybe they've got an ideal, and they're out here just doing it, and they're gonna watch this video and they're gonna like, oh, I need to do this to put myself in a position to take advantage of this wealth transfer because we're talking trillions and trillions of dollars that's gonna exchange hands in probably the next five to six years. With a pandemic, don't matter. Doesn't matter who's the president, <clears throat> doesn't matter if it's a Democrat, doesn't matter if it's a Republican, the wealth transfer is taking place right now, right now. And if your pockets are not swelling up, that means you're not at the apex of the wealth transfer. If you like during this global pandemic, and th this is something funny, I looked up the stock of Google Alphabet, which owns Google Alphabet is a holding company. That stock is $2,102 last time I checked. And during the pandemic, this stock was a thousand bucks. Nobody, because I've I, I really started to look into YouTube channels. And once again, as a YouTuber, I understand YouTuber philosophy, speak about what's hot to get the clicks. And no one's talking about Google. And that was a damn good stock. You could have made 50% on your money. You could have made a you know, 100% return. If you invested a thousand bucks in Google stock, you will saw a 110% return on your money in mere months. This is where the wealth transfer, the wealth transfer is taking place in the stock market. The wealth transfer is taking place in the business marketplace and the wealth transfer is taking place in real estate. And here's a place that the wealth transfer is happening that no one is ever talking about. It is talking about in new innovation. Right now, there's some guy or some gal in their garage working on their product. No one knows who they are today. Five years from now, they're gonna be a billionaire. And this is a really white hot space where people are doing radical innovation and transformation and invention. And this is a space that a lot of people don't even talk about, don't even know about. And this is gonna be a space where ordinary people are gonna become billionaires with a B for real. And they're gonna do it faster than it's ever been done before. Because typically when you look at the Forbes list of the richest people in the world, there's a common theme between most of them. They're all old. They're all old. 60, 70, 80, 90 years old. Most of them are old, the majority of them. Elon Musk is 49 and he's one of the younger ones and I think Zuckerberg is younger than him and there's a few other young bucks, but 90% of the richest people in the world are old. We're going to see a shift. We're going to see a bunch of probably 35 year olds. We're going to see a shift of new innovation, new wealth creation, and it's going to be magnificent because these people are putting forth effort and they're doing something. Once again, if you're just out here hustling the wealth transfer, you know, it's going over your head. You're, you're not going to get it. You've got to be at the apex of innovation or you have to be at the apex of investing. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about big boy investing. And no, I didn't forget to answer that question. Why you guys didn't support me. Hustling in theory, sounds really good. The practice and the application and the hard work, that's not attractive. And that's why y'all didn't take me advantage up on the free courses, the free books, because you were gonna have to work. And that's something that you are not really interested in. Right now, there's a dearth of plumbers, electricians, and other skilled tradesmen. You wanna know why? These people are paying 90 bucks an hour. You know what? People don't want to do the jobs because it's going to require work. Everyone wants to be a Forex trader or a day trader or invest in crypto. It's like, miss me with that work. And the people who are going to do that work are going to get wealthy. 
They're gonna get wealthy. The people who are willing to become a welder, the people who are willing to become a plumber, the people who are willing to become an electrician, the people who are willing to go to these work sites and work all day, 10, 12 hours, and they get these big paychecks. But ask yourself, in a year, 2020, when we had a pandemic, these jobs were still going unfilled because people don't wanna do them. And it's, it's kind of crazy. Cause I'm from a different generation where, you know, if you can find a good job, you, you, that's good. This generation is not like that. They don't want a good job. They want the dream job. They want the dream job. They want the benefits. They want the time off immediately. They want four to five weeks of vacation. And if it's not the dream job or it doesn't look like their dream job, they ain't interested. They would rather do Uber, DoorDash, or some other low skill, lowly paid job because there's freedom. Doing DoorDash, Instacart, Uber, there's no boss. There's no one checking in on you. There's a lot of freedom in those hustles, in those occupations. And this is why people do them because everyone feels that they're too good to have a boss. Uh, I've been watching a lot of the YouTube ads and this is a big thing. It's like, quit your job, quit your job, quit your job, quit your job. I, as someone who's navigated the road from a job to entrepreneurship, I didn't quit my job <clears throat> when I started my first business. I actually kept my job for like eight months before I quit. And when I quit, I had a lot of cash in the bank. So, that was why I was able to quit my job and never ever return back to having a job. Once I left employment, I have never gone back. But many entrepreneurs who quit their job because they have this big, beautiful, bold dream, find themselves back in the job within mere weeks or mere months because <clears throat> they couldn't make it. I should say their business doesn't make enough cash to support itself and the entrepreneur and frequently they're forced to return back to a job with their tail tucked between their legs because they didn't cut it see you quit too soon here's the process if you want to take advantage of the wealth transfer you need to get to big boy investments you need to be creating inventions and new companies or you need to be in the business marketplace if you're in one of those three areas, you will be able to take full advantage of this wealth transfer. If you're not in those areas, it's gonna miss you. It's gonna miss you. I was reading um, Home Depot's report, Lowe's Depot, many, many businesses, because they were positioned and already up and running, took full advantage of this wealth transfer. Home Depot stock is going through the roof. Uh, Google did well. Netflix did well, OnlyFans did well. They were already positioned. They were already positioned. And th this is the thing that I want you guys to understand. You gotta position yourself. You gotta position yourself to be at that apex or you ain't getting no money. It ain't coming. And BGS Igmore, BGS, just like it sounds, I-B-M-O-R, did this, video talking about 42% of Americans make 18,000. 42% of working Americans make $18,000 a year or less. This 42% will not be part of the wealth transfer. You want to know why? Because their life is hell right now. During this year, 2020, when I had the best year of my life since I've been doing this, I was positioned because I had YouTube channels, I had an online platform that was already set up before the pandemic happened. And this is one of the things you got to stop being last minute Larry. I had a lot of people on me when I made the bold proclamation that you should get the EDIL money, you should get the PP money and you should stimulate your own economy. And I had so many people, well, Glendon, I don't have a company. I'm trying to get to the Internal Revenue Service, the EIN. I'm like, why are you waiting? What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for Jesus Christ to come down and said, my son, 
You should start a business and you should do it today. What are you waiting on? Where's the sense of urgency? Where is it? What are you waiting on? Because the longer you wait, the longer you dilly dally, the longer you take all of your sweet time, the wet transfer is in full effect. It's in full effect right now. So either you're going to benefit from the wealth transfer or you're going to be hit by the global reset. And most folks are going to be hit by the global reset. Like what happened in Texas with this winter storm and the high electric bills and all of the damage and stuff. That's just part of the global reset. Even though it was a natural event, a lot of people were deeply, deeply impacted by the weather. I was reading about a lot of people cannot afford their utility bills. So Global Reset is saying, hey, today you were here. Today you were smiling, you were eating steak, you were doing well. Tomorrow, you're gonna be eating bologna. You're gonna be eating ramen noodles and bologna. That nice new truck you have, it's gonna be repoed and you're gonna have a piece of crap car and you're gonna get kicked out your apartment and you're gonna be living in the woods with Bigfoot, Nelly the Knocklet, Loch Ness Muster. This is one of the reasons that van life has become so popular because people cannot afford rent. And this was before the pandemic. And this is an indicator of what BGS Igmore said about people making $18,000 a year. And from my own research where people were making, over half the country makes less than $33,000 a year and 75% of the country makes less than 60,000. And here in Atlanta, I'm gonna give you my financial theory. I live in Atlanta, I know what Atlanta costs. For you to live well in Atlanta as a single person without a wife or children, you should be making 95 to 125,000 a year. To me, that is middle class income. And if you're making less than that and you have a family and children, more than likely you're struggling or close to struggle or you don't have the money for everything or you got to utilize credit as an extension of income, which at some time is a ticking time bomb because one month you're gonna pull out that credit card and it's gonna get declined because you're maxed out and you're gonna have trouble making all of the minimum payments. And this is when the global reset slaps you upside the head and says, ha, this is where you are. So if you're not an entrepreneur an inventor or big boy investor. And let's talk about big boy investing. I'm going to be gentle here. If you have managed to get three or four properties with mortgages, and let's say at the end of the month, you're cash flowing at a thousand bucks, that's money that can go to your pocket. Okay. Then it's working for you. Congratulations. But that ain't big boy investment. Big boy investment is where you're coming out with six figures large and into a stock, a business or something. You're, 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 you're rolling with six figures because the people who jump into the big boy investment world are going to be part of the great wealth transfer. What happened with game stop stock was part of the wealth transfer. These guys were on wall street bets and they were playing the game. And they benefit, a lot of people benefited from that wealth transfer. The money flowed from the Wall Street hedge funds and it flowed into the pockets of these small investors. However, there was a few hedge funds on the side of the Wall Street betters playing the game as well. Playing the game as well. So if you wanna benefit from this wealth transfer, you're gonna to have to play the game whether you want to or not. And I've had many people challenge this and so like everyone cannot be an entrepreneur and I'm going to call BS on that. Everyone needs to eat. Everyone needs gas for their car. Everyone needs a place to stay. You can be an entrepreneur. You may not become an entrepreneur that's going to start a multi-million dollar business, but I, I, I can be sure that the average person, if they worked hard enough, can start a business that does about two, 250 a year. I think that is with, with the right knowledge, the right training, the right guidance and the right application. I think that most people can get there and that will enable you to play and participate in the wealth transfer because you become an entrepreneur. 
I fully believe that in my guts because I wasn't always like this. I mean, back in the day when I was working, not one, not two, but three jobs. And there was a year, there was a two year period where I worked seven days a week for two years, never got sick. And I was really proud of that. So at one point I was financially and business wise dumb. I didn't know this back then. I was working like a Hebrew slave. Like I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna share some personal stuff with you. Like typically, when I used to work like that, I was financially dumb. I didn't know any of this stuff. I didn't know how to create products. I didn't know how to run businesses. I didn't know how to create corporations. I didn't know any of this. And this is something that I learned by doing. So I don't believe that argument where no one can become, everyone isn't cut out the entrepreneur. I honestly believe that if you work hard enough, you can get a business where you're making 150 to 250 a year. I believe that is within the purview of the average American. And that is in the purview where you can begin to participate in this great wealth transfer because you just have a job. You're just out here hustling. You gonna miss out, bro. You gonna miss out. And I know that I have a lot of people who are disappointed with the, the change of the channel. And um, I'm gonna say thank you for your support all these years. I really appreciate you but it's now time to do something else. And um, any petty, crazy comments will be deleted and you will be blocked. And we're just gonna keep it moving because I feel that this is important. I feel that this is relevant and important information that needs to come out and understand that the channel views are gonna drop. I understand that so many people would rather listen to Kevin Samuels and about having relationships something that makes you feel good, but doesn't put any money in your pocket and all other kind of silly stuff. Cause I see it all over YouTube. The silly stuff performs really, really well or the non important stuff. And essentially we're going to be talking about businesses, businesses, businesses. That's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about how to sell businesses. We're going to be talking about how to scale businesses how to start businesses. That's all we're going to be talking about. We're not going to be talking about hustling in these tertiary and temporary business models. We're not gonna be talking about that. So hopefully you will join me in participating in the great wealth transfer because I don't plan on being 65 and eating Alpo. I don't plan, you know, this, this, this is my plan. My plan is to be 65 and still driving the Porsche. My plan is to be 65 and living in the mansion. My plan is to be 65 with a million year per year of passive income coming in so I can do whatever I want to do. That's my plan. While I'm young enough to still put in the work, build and create and innovate, I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do because, you know, going back to the naps, I don't know what my energy level is going to be like at 65. I have no clue. Maybe it'll be higher. I don't know, but you know what? I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be set up. I'm going to be enjoying life. I'm going to have me a young tender tender and probably look, you know, a little bab a little bamboo, bamboo one and bamboo two, probably doing that. And um, that's my plan because I am looking at the landscape. I am looking at what is happening. I am looking at what people currently are. And I am seeing a number of people who are not participating. On Clubhouse, there's this investment group that's a part that seems to be full of astute and savvy people. And I think they are a small, small segment of the black community. Very, very small. Because once again, most of the advice on YouTube is for broke people. It's not for people with money. It would be radically different, radically different. So what we're gonna do on this channel going forward is talk about businesses, how to build businesses, how to create businesses. It's gonna be a business heavy topic channel because most of the YouTube channels that talk about business talk about hustling and they don't talk about business. So hopefully you will join me in the new movement of corporate citizens. Now let's talk about that, all right? Because I'm getting a lot of questions about it. People are emailing me. If you buy the art of holding, you're going to get everything that's in the corporate toolbox as well 
as what's going in the corporate art of holding. I mean, I'm almost at the point where I'm just going to like, you sign up for the art of holding, I'm just going to put you into the corporate toolbox so you can like look through it and then you can actually see that you're not getting ripped off or cheated. Cause a lot of people, man, you know, it's, it's just a big difference. What's the difference? What's the difference, man? And I'm just sitting there like, there is no difference. They're gonna both be the same thing. But you know, as we navigate this, the link is below to the corporate toolbox. One of the reasons that I'm not trying to charge $5,000 for, there ain't nothing there. Sunday, there will be stuff there, and then I will start building it out, and then I will, you know, one of the things that I've learned on this YouTube journey is to communicate with people in the comments and to take that feedback. So some things may change going forward, but one of the things that's going to happen that is going to go down is I'm gonna make it better, I'm gonna make it cleaner, I'm gonna make it sexier. Like today, I was working on the Savage Financials and that's really sexy because I cleaned up the money course and then I cleaned up and I created a new course, the corporate for money management for corporate citizens. And then I'm creating a credit course that, you know, I'm seven modules in. I think that's going to be fire. It's going to be fire because I'm putting information in this course that I have not seen on YouTube. No one ever talks about these little little really really important nuggets to credit repair so all three of those links are below and the b school and the hustler that's all gone forever to new people if you're already in it and you already bought the course it ain't going nowhere you can log in and you can look at it you can play with it, you can do what you want i'm not deleting anything so I, i've said that numerous numerous times when people are like freaking out i know that many of you love the hustling glendon i understand but the hustling Glendon has left the building. This is the new Glendon. I hope you like him as well if you like the hustling Glendon. But we're, we're about building sustainable, durable businesses that make incredible cash flow and build businesses and protect families. That's what we're gonna be doing. So hopefully you will join me in the great wealth transfer that is going on right now. It's happening right now. And if you're not in the game, if you're not suited up, you're not playing the game, it's going to be like this wealth transfer didn't even happen. That's what it's going to be like. So hopefully go below and roll in the art of holding. And, you know, I'm probably going to have to talk about this for a few weeks, <laughs> but we will be talking about it. Go ahead and roll in the art of holding and then we will set it up and we will. The goal is to grow wealthy together. That's the goal. That's the goal to grow wealthy together. So hopefully you enjoyed this little chit chat and I will see you guys in the next one.